Welcome back, everyone. This time, the outcome is not so fortunate. Despite your best efforts, tired and overwhelmed fighters are dropping all around you. You watch helplessly as Hugin takes a blow to the head. His brother Mugen screams and rushes to his side. You have to drag him away uh, before the crowd of dredge. Uh, Rook, shouts Ivar. It's time to go. More dredge have emerged in the distance. Uh, no, we can do it one more time. The caravan is gone. Let's make camp. Survey the uh, the damage. We lost Hogan. I think he's he's dead now for good. It's a good thing we never invested in them either. Uh, Mogan could level up, but we could promote uh, Kroom here. Get him up to level 3. Oddleaf might actually be, uh, and actually be replaced, like, Having three Varl is just good. So, I'm gonna up that and um, with him at level three, we can pump Pump his strength up to 16. Yeah. Next level, we'll max out his armor and strength. So what is Gunnolf holding? Uh, he's got the knockback one. He's level 3. Uh, we could give him plus 2 armor. Because knockback really isn't a decent thing for Gunnolf. Uh, so yeah, let's give him the plus two armor. And for Kroom here, you're level three now, so... That's extra break. That would actually be quite nice. Fifteen... plus fifteen percent times two strength damage. Eh. Nah, we, we might actually just keep you with the uh, with the narwhal horn. Which is fine. That's fine. Uh, I wouldn't mind Ivar getting uh, getting some more kills. We, need, we do need rest. Like, we need rest for three days. Uh, so let's spend three days resting. One, two, three. Are the heroes not going to rest anymore? Has time not been? Why is no one? Okay, let's let's just take let's take them out of the turn order. Maybe that they, maybe that's what they need. All right, so. Let's let's try resting now. I I I don't know why that that mattered because we've we've done it before. Two, three, four, five. We've we've spent time here. No one. What is going on? <laughs> uh, I have to look this up. Uh, the banner saga injury. Okay, 
Is there like a fucking glitch? Uh, healing injuries. Heroes don't heal. Let's see. Most of the time, go. Okay, so it, it might fix itself if I quit the game and load it back up. But I mean, we're doing fine. So, uh, and I mean, we're not consume. We're apparently not consuming anything here. So let's uh, let's just leave. And at the end of this video, I will, uh, close down the game and see if I can fix this. A trail of blood leads to a clearing where you find a large wounded Varl. He is gnawing on his own shield, uh, swearing at no one in particular, occasionally slamming his cudgel on the ground. If not for the heavy bleeding, You'd leave this one alone without second thoughts. Uh, we can help you if you want it. Uh, we can help you if you want it. In a heartbeat, the Varl is on his feet, swinging his massive weapon. Okay. He's a bit crazy. Just a bit crazy. Ooh, we're in a we're in an actual town now. You enter the village of miners, who want to know what's been happening recently between the rumblings of the quake and the settings of the dredge in the distance. As you look around, you see a lot of elderly and children, and know that these people will only be mouths to feed. Uh, Let them make their own decision. So let's look in the market, see if there's anything good. Uh, plus two drawing aggro, 5% strength, uh, dodge strength attacks, knockback, and plus two will. Yeah, no, there's nothing real good there. One, two, three. Yeah, it doesn't. It's it's totally glitched. Uh, we have five renown. Let's just leave this village. We'll just leave the village, you know, as we've uh, we've gained a bunch more mouths to feed. We lost two days of supplies. The music got really intense. We have five hundred clansmen, a hundred fighters. Look at that! shouts one of your clansmen. The caravan stops to watch Dredge pooling into a village you just passed through. I hope anyone who stayed behind got out of a I hope anyone who stayed behind got out alive, says Alette. But you have your doubts. They're coming. Oh, that's right, let's go return to look through the village. Hold on, let her do a few more. Why don't you come along next time? Alright, we got a new... We got a new character. Let's make camp quickly. I want to examine this newest individual. Uh, oh, there she is. She wants to talk. She wants to talk! Alright, so... Mugen, no thank you. Nid. Old Niddy here. Uh, so she's a little two. She has two points available. Uh, we could pump up her armor break by one. And then do her uh, strength by one as well. Yeah, confirm. 
All right, Nid the Bowmaster. Uh, let's see, Bird of Prey. Uh, always hits her mark. So plus two range, and it, it always hits. Okay. And if she's standing in the same place, she uh, she does extra damage. All right. Well, she can have an item. Uh, rook. I think we're going to just take this from you. You've uh, you've served your purpose, rook. But uh, you're getting replaced. Uh, so there's Ivar. So we want Gunolf and Delet, Oddleaf, and Nid. That guy and this guy. All right. So Eggle's five. We want Eggle. Oddleaf. She needs to stay behind. You get to stay as well. Uh, but the four of our are just so good to have. Mmm. Kroon. Kroon with his armor break. That's real good. Yeah, and then I just... Mmm. Maybe we could let Alette stay behind for a few fights. And, uh, get some kills with Oddleaf and Nid here. Yeah. Oh, let's have a conversation. This will be a short video because I want to fix the, uh, or a shorter video. I want to fix the uh, thing. I don't know if we've ever spoken. I'm Nid, your rook, I know. We've actually been traveling together for a long time. Isn't it strange how you can be so close to people and not know them? Every day I pass people I swear I've never seen before. I wanted to thank you for letting me join. Uh, where are you from? I don't think you're from Skoger. I knew most people there. No, I had a house in Frost Villa. But we were driven out when the dredge started to show up. My husband died trying to protect our home. My sons and I were thrown out into the fields. I'm sorry. Eccles men killed my husband. When we left, I was angry. Why was I the one who had to leave their home? How, did I, how do I deserve this? You look away momentarily. Not sure what to say. But I've let it go. I have three sons. Damn. And I don't know and I don't want them to grow up with hatred in their heart. That's why I wanted to thank you. No, oh, have you have you always been a good shot? Honestly, I never tried before Oddleaf made me. I spent my whole life making clothes and cleaning. Oddleaf's good, but I don't think it was all her doing. It feels right. I just look where I want it to go. Anyway, I feel better. The caravan, the people, worrying all day, making problems. Sometimes they really stew in their misery. I'm glad I can do something helpful. You're welcome. You should be going. Don't think anything of it. We all have our own problems to deal with, Rook. Let me know if you need to put an arrow in something. Winky face. Heart emoji. Eggplant emoji. <laughs> she returns to her tent. Her boys are waiting for her. Damn, it. Oh. Uh. 
with that conversation done, we're going to end this episode so I can maybe attempt to fix things. I've been the Earl King. Thanks for watching. See you next time.